Hi everyone, it's Phaedra from Noble Flowers and if you've clicked on this video, you probably love Barbie and so do I. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really beautiful but simple arrangement from roses, Barbie inspired, and a little table arrangement. Just if you wanna have a special little Barbie inspired dinner. So let's get into it. Apron on. I've purchased three bunches of roses. So what I'm gonna do is use most of them in the big bouquet and then the, the small amount in a little vase arrangement for the table. So we start by cutting them open. Roses will come like this. They'll have their thorns and their leaves all over them. And if you've got one of these, it's called a rose stripper. There's plastic ones or metal ones. It makes it so easy. You just, depending whether you want leaves or not, we're not probably gonna see those in the bouquet. So you can just clamp it on to the rose right there. Hold your rose and strip. And it cleans up the stem for you. If you don't have one of these, which for those at home, you probably don't, um, you'll have to just pick them off by hand and it's very time consuming. Wear gloves so that you don't get pricked, but you can just pull the leaves off. Uh, sometimes, well often I, when I'm doing arrangements, I'll leave the top leaves. Uh, I don't think we're actually going to see them in this bouquet, but we'll leave them. And you can just um, press on the thorns and flick them off. They do just come off. Um, it's just going to take you a little bit more time. So I'm going to get through this real quick. I'm going to strip all these roses and prepare them. I've got all those stripped. The next job is you can see that these roses, they look a little bit worse for wear as, oh, 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 there's spikes at the top of that. Especially these, they look very tattered. It's often how roses will come. Um, what you do is you need to pull these outer petals called the guard petals off. And the easiest way to do it, just put your thumb down in it and roll it over your thumb. So you just wanna pull off those outer petals until you're left with the really nice ones. These roses also have a little bit of water damage, not ideal. You can keep these rose petals for something else. Maybe you wanna get romantic and have rose petals later. So I'm going to go through all of these. I'm putting eight aside for our table arrangement, which we'll do a little bit later on. And now we're going to work on a spiraled hand tied bouquet. Instead of just clumping everything together, like if I was just to pick up all these roses and just put them in like this, they're going to be very squished. The stems are just gonna sit like this. So what you do is there is a technique called spiraling, but it is kind of tricky to teach in this short tutorial. I have other videos on my channel. I'll link them at the end of this video so you can learn more on that technique. What you want to do, the main thing is you just want to make sure you're crossing stems over. So you want to make sure there's air and a little bit of movement between the flowers. This is a tighter bouquet. If you leave some of the leaves on, that can help separate your stems a little bit too. And you want to try and keep the heads at the same level. You can adjust that later. So for now, you want to just work on getting all of the roses into the bouquet, that's fine. And then we can readjust later. You can even just sort of poke them in where you want them. Like I've been spiraling one direction, but I might want a rose there so I can pop it in. You just want to make sure you're getting, see how it's fanning. That's what we're looking for. So the bouquet looks nice and big and it just has a little bit of air through it. You just want to keep adding roses in. It does get tricky to hold the bouquet when you're not used to it. Oops, I just need to move that one up. If you've left the thorns on your stems while you're trying to do this, it is gonna hurt your hands. So you really wanna remove those thorns. It's also much nicer to gift roses to somebody when there's no thorns on it. This is how we're looking. Just got a couple more to pop in. Pop that one there. And I just need to move this one up a bit. Roses are expensive, so you want to make sure that you're seeing everything that's in your bouquet. Okay, we've got our shape. We've got a rogue petal here. The leaves, I just want a couple of leaves. Well, I sprayed them with leaf shine because leaf shine makes everything shiny, as you can imagine. 
So once you've got your bouquet how you want it, cut yourself a piece of string. Don't make it too big because if it's too big, it is hard to work with. Move your hands down so the top of your hand is where you want it tied. And I will just grab the piece of string in that, those fingers and wrap it around just above where my hand is there. Rest it on the edge of a bench, just right here. So it doesn't crush everything. There's our rose bouquet and it's looking gorgeous. So at this point, you can trim your stems a little bit. I mean, these stems are a little bit excessive. Here is our rose bouquet. Now we're gonna wrap it and present it really nicely. The first step is you wanna plan where your flowers are gonna go. And I'm actually gonna pop this over a little bit because I want the, the, I want the wrap to sit at the same level as the flowers. So I'm going to fold that over and then fold the other sheet to match. So just along here is about the level of where the stems are. So at this stage, what we want to do is pleat along here. So you're just crunching it in and keeping each edge outwards. So then once you've done that, you pick up your bouquet and you place it so the top of the paper is at the level that you want. And you can put this piece of paper around your bouquet. This is the white. And if you want to keep that together to keep it really neat, you can pop another piece of string on there. And now we want to work on the pink. Now you can just do some readjustments. If there's some roses that are a little bit low and some that are a bit taller, don't push and pull from the heads. Just put your fingers in around them and find their stem because you can just pull their heads off. Last is we want to put some ribbon. We are just popping a really nice pink ribbon on here and I'll just leave that flowing down. And here is your beautiful bouquet. With our flowy ribbon, I've just left it down like that. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna make the little arrangement. I'm doing the same thing. I'm actually holding it quite high up because I'm cut it, going to cut the stems off pretty low this time. And we've got a, a few roses here that are blowing open, which means they're getting older and their petals were gonna, are going to start falling off soon. So I'm putting those towards the center because the rest of the roses around the outside are going to help hold those together. And this last one I might pop in there. Okay, so I'm happy with the shape. I'm going to tie this off fairly high. It's gonna be a pretty, um, a very short bouquet. I just have two leaves left, which is fine. For this little arrangement, it'll be plenty. Tie this off again around those leaves. Now what you wanna do is get your vase. I actually switched to a smaller fish bowl because I really don't want them to wobble around in there. And the other fish bowl, I would have needed a few more roses. I want the flowers to sit right on the rim of the vase. So I need to cut them just at the bottom of the vase here, all cut, and then test it out. They're still a bit tall. Can you see how it's wobbling around? Cut more. So you've got your little posy. You want to put it in the vase with water and now it's perfect and ready for your table. I love Barbie and I'm really excited about the release of this movie. Head out, find some pink roses, make yourself a beautiful bouquet and enjoy the excitement of the Barbie movie. And Margot Robbie, we are so proud of you as a fellow Aussie. If I could give you these flowers, I would. We live on a flower farm in Australia and we do weekly blogs about life here on the flower farm in Australia. You can watch that here. If you want to learn more about how to wrap bouquets, click here.